It took Buzz Aldrin, Neil Armstrong and Michael Collins three days to reach the moon. While the closest distance between ourselves and Mars is 300 days. Absence of gravity due to spaceflight has similar effects in the body as physical inactivity, increasing our risk of developing a series of diseases such as the metabolic syndrome, cardiovascular disease and increased risk of all-cause mortality. On top of this, we see massive reductions in bone mineral density and muscle mass, so much so that upon arrival into Earth, astronauts struggle to exit their space pod and greet their onlooking audience. As a result, I'm looking at ways to help maintain their health aboard the ISS in order to keep astronauts productive for longer. At present, astronauts exercise for almost two hours every day to help maintain their health. Two hours, that's a bit excessive, right? We are therefore looking at alternatives. By decreasing the physical activity levels of 20 healthy males and feeding them an antioxidant cocktail, which we developed. On top of their regular diet, our subjects managed to improve muscle and fat metabolism in comparison to the control group. Really interesting stuff. So given the astronauts spend longer than 20 days in space, what effect could this have on longer term inactivity? We put 20 healthy males into bed at minus six degrees head down tilt for 60 days, taking muscle and fat biopsies before and after the bed rest, along with a series of other procedures with the hope to reproduce what we saw with shorter term inactivity. Hopefully this will get our astronauts to Mars sooner rather than later. Watch this space.